welcome back everyone so if you look at the question we have done the question like this before so there's a bag we have the four four white which I have to do gray because I can't see white on the white and then five red and then six blue walls so six blue walls next the question says three walls drawn at random from the back without putting it so if you're putting we're taking one wall and then we're putting it inside after checking the color this would have resulted in different solution but we are not putting it inside the bag again so it will be simple question for us so the priority of getting all of them red so if we want to uh, ball which we get all of them are red then what we have to do is a simple thing we just have to assume that there will be no white or black ball in a selection so we have to select two balls sorry three balls so we have to just select 5c3 because out of five choice there are five red so out of five only we have to select three from the red only not the white and blue so this is our favorable cases favorable case which will result in five factorial four three two one into three factorial which will be cut by this and we'll get the option is 5 4 the 20 upon 2 which is 10 next let's find out our total cases total cases will be 4 plus 5 plus 6 which is equal to 15 and we have to find the choose the 3 ball out of 15 so this will result in 15 14 13 3, 2, 1 into 13 factorial. We'll just cut this. We'll I mean, we left with this. If we can cut anything, yeah, sure, we can cut this. 2, 7, so 14, 3, 5, C, okay. We are at 35, right? And there's all. Let's find out the priority. This was the total cases. So our probability will be probability P will be favorable upon total cases. So the favorable cases are 10 and the total cases are 35. Let's look for the option. It is this only or the simplified version. We can cut it for 5. But let's look at the option first. There are simplified version, so we need to cut. But if you look at the basis, I think we did something wrong. Let's look for it again. There are 35, right? Is there anything we can do to get 22, 91, or 77? I think I did some mistake. Let's check it out. Okay there is a some mistake actually 15 14 13 and then 12 should come because if you solve this by n factorial upon r factorial n minus r factorial you'll get the product like 15 factorial upon 3 factorial and 15 minus 3 factorial and this will result in 15 upon 3 factorial and 2 12 factorials. I did this scroll thing again. I have to scroll back up. Yeah, we are here. So I just made a mistake and use this 13 as 12. So let me recalculate it, it here. So this will just get the 15 into 14 into 13 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 into 12 factorial there are all there is also 12 factorial 
which will cut and then we'll get the answer by solving this we have already cut this 5 and this 7 so we have to calculate the 13 into 35 which we will calculate using calculator so here yeah, 35 into 13 it is 455 455 and so that our priority will be P will be favorable divided by total and now the cases will be 10 divided by 455 and we have already seen the option the option are very simple let's cut it out by 5 so it will be come as 5 twos are 10 we 9 5 is a 45 and 1 so let's check the option again there was I guess 91 basis option I assume there will be otherwise there is a problem scroll again okay there is 91 option which we couldn't make it at first so we are doing it now right C is the option go for it thank you for watching this was end of our probability series next I guess we'll move to compound interest or something else depending the, on the course so till the rest of time goodbye and have a good one